uh, as well. Let's start with Juwan Howard, Coach Garba of Wisconsin. I, I missed it. And then I saw my timeline flare up and started to wonder when I first saw he actually threw a punch. Now, people can all, it's all relative, apples to apples and orange, whatever. Uh, the bottom line, it was a bad look all the way around. Everybody could have probably done a lot more. But I, I wonder, because of Jawan Howard and the incident a year ago with Maryland, and that that kind of flared up. And earlier this year, Michigan against Rutgers had an incident that kind of flared up. Uh, this one, who? It, why do we have to blame anybody? Why can't we just say everybody acted stupid? Uh, everybody needs to get suspended. Who should be suspended? John Howard, coaches from Wisconsin. That I mean, anybody who instigated the incident, and particularly Jawan Howard, uh, needs to be suspended. I mean, bottom line, they need to be suspended. That's that's how it is. This is not you know, if a, if a player did this, he'd be suspended. So go ahead and suspend him. Yeah, I, I mean, right then and there, and you, I've seen everybody has a side. Craig, your thoughts about this? I, Jawan Howard, uh, don't put your hands on me. I, I'll remember this, and, and the coach from Wisconsin uh, saying that he was trying to at least let Jawan Howard know about the timeout. There's a lot going on here. The bottom line, as bad as that looked that, that Armstrong's showing you, it could have been worse. It could have been absolutely worse, but the bottom line, open hand or not, it was a slap to the face the Wisconsin coach is known as a guy who used to be a really physical player. So then everyone wants to bring that up. I don't know who it eventually it's to blame, but it was a horrible situation. Yeah, I, I think uh, there's a lot of people burning a lot of energy to excuse uh, stupid behavior, um, which I'm sure that just so happens that they're fans of the people involved. Uh, it's weird how our brains flip when it's suddenly somebody that we like is in the act of doing something versus somebody that we hate. Because I can guarantee you every single Michigan basketball fan, if that had been reversed, they would be complaining about Greg Gard, talking about what a thug he is, what a punk he is, and none of this, oh, well, you don't mess with him then. Don't talk trash. Don't, you know. Don't talk, put your hands talk, on him. Talk ish, get hit, you know, whatever. Because I've seen a lot of Michigan fans that have actually embraced Juwan Howard's response. Now, not the majority. There's ton there's tons and plenty that uh, don't think it was a very good look. You know, Greg Gard was being a little bit aggressive, too. Like, I mean, he's got to realize his role in this. He can't just get up in a man's face and, you know, point fingers or knocking his hand away and, and, and chirping at him and not expect the guy to have a response. Now, that response, if you're a college basketball coach at a school like Michigan, should not be a slap because that was more of what it was than anything so i think both guys are, are somewhat in the wrong but howard definitely the most wrong in this scenario because of him actually going through with you know throwing his uh throwing his hands out there um you know the little bit of pushing back and forth or knocking each other's hands away you could feel it kind of bubbling up but the moment he did that that's when everything just went haywire then you see like seconds later you got one of his players that threw a couple of punches he's he's got his chest beat uh, chest popped uh, puffed out uh 14 there diabate uh he throws a couple punches you'll see and then he'll turn to the camera or be in front of the camera and have his chest puffed out and be ready to go for some more i mean it's just an ugly look and just looks like a bunch of punks out there uh, instead of basketball players. You know, it's kind of fun to see this thing from time to time as fans, but I just thought ultimately it was, it was an ugly look for Jawan Howard more than just about anybody, but I don't think he was alone in the blame. I, uh, I saw a video that, you know, you always wonder, Jawan Howard last year uh, with the flare-up against Maryland. Uh, there was a video that I saw later on last night, and I had to make sure the right date and all that other stuff but uh, about a month ago, Diabate of Michigan in the post game against Rutgers was kind of ha had to be kind of taken away at the end of a, a handshake line. And, and, and sometimes, and again, uh, Greg Garb should maybe be suspended too. I say maybe. Juwan Howard, I'm not the one making the decision. The Big Ten represents itself as being at the very highest level of everything, right? Michigan puts themselves at the highest level of everything. Wisconsin puts themselves at the highest level of everything. The bottom line is um, it was a bad situation. And I don't know what's going to happen, but we'd like to get your feedback on the chat room, YouTube 365 Sports. Uh, you tell us what should be, who should be suspended, how long, and players who, anyone who I think, should you be suspended if you throw a punch or do you have to land one? Uh, 
No, if you throw, I mean, I, I get where you're coming from there because there's a lot of air punches there. No, I don't, um, yeah, like you hit me. Yeah, yeah that, I mean, I mean, in Howard's case, I don't think there's a what about because we saw very clearly, and that wasn't even a punch. That was like a slap punch or what? I don't even know what that you would call that. SWAT. Yeah, it was a SWAT. Well, it's funny if you would see what Jawan Howard he he slapped him, and then when he came back, he had a fist. Like he probably, yeah. well, you know, yeah, like do oh. that in reverse next yeah, time. If, but no, I mean, I, I think that, um, you know, I think that anybody who is sitting, uh, sitting there trying to escalate the situation, like Diabate, for example, I, I could see him getting a suspension if you yep. were to really dig into it. Um, obviously, uh, you know, you've got to, to give a suspension to, uh, to Juwan Howard, and I think Greg Gard needs at least, at least, and and if you wanted to suspend him for a game or something for provoking, I think there's a way to look at that and, and see that as well. Now maybe there's not enough to say, oh, he deserves a suspension too, but I think he needs to be like, hey, dude, you kind of. You were doing this with him a little bit before that was all, you know, you're putting your hands out there too, not throwing punches, but you were getting up in his grill and you were escalating the situation. So, you know, if anything, a, a warning to him, if not a, a half I, suspension I, or something like that. Look, suspend, I, I, I think any coach that was bowing up on yeah. anybody needs to be, look, and I'll say this about Paul Mills, our friend at Oral Roberts. Yep. Paul Mills needs to be suspended for a game. Maybe. He does. And because that's not how, that's not what you're supposed to do when you're the coach. The coach is supposed to uh, de-escalate, not escalate. And that's that's what Paul Mills did at Oral Roberts the other day. Not a story that people are really going to see all that much because it's Oral Roberts compared to Michigan. It's Paul Mills compared to Jawan Howard. But yeah, he should be suspended. Jawan Howard should be suspended. Greg Garb should be suspended. It's because as a coach, it's your responsibility to calm everyone down in that situation. That's what your job is. Now, I do know that there are times where you want to get your team fired up, but the end of the game, I'm sorry, uh, any momentum you're going to grab from that doesn't matter because you're about to get on a bus. So that was just silly that, to, to do it that way. And I you know they they just need to be suspended and then it's over there needs to be no justification well if he hadn't done this look everybody was acting a fool so suspend them for being foolish that's it no, yeah. i mean nobody got hurt thank goodness but that's it's it's an easy it's cut and dry if i'm um what's the name of the commit kevin warren i'm like look you guys got in a fight you're suspended sorry yeah don't yeah. give me reasons don't fight so howard suspended yeah longer than anyone else uh, yeah, I mean, I think probably be, because yeah. he like he was the one like you know he might not have been the spark before but he the was punch, the gasoline it, before the punch it was not much more than a high level of testosterone with some pushing and yeah. shoving that then took it to a level where people started defending themselves and throwing punches yeah. he wasn't the spark he was the gasoline and you know yes suspend so, the spark suspend the gasoline suspend all the burning yeah. embers around it. and i saw this uh, a little bit both in the evening last night uh, and, and also some today because this is what we do when anything like that happens well let's just not do it anymore like there shouldn't be a handshake line that's bullshit i mean it's part of being uh, a sportsmanship uh if, if you don't want, think you can control yourself in the line then don't then then don't then and then say hey i just didn't feel like i could go through the line but to sit there and say we sh we shouldn't shake hands after games my god i mean please that's just it's you know what you watch most any sport now there's some guys who wave and some who walk out the tunnel like the pistons did to jordan when he finally beat them or whoever but come on we that's part of sportsmanship and which of course is we're losing quite a bit in the world of sports because people's egos and oversensitivity armstrong i just sent you a link to the post game of the Rutgers Michigan game from about a month ago. I like that idea, you know, and, and I saw where that came from, and uh, it's just funny to me how that account is popular. But uh, yeah, let's. There's one little incident in a game that barely anybody saw, and you saw only like 30 seconds of a blip from it on Sports Center, and that's all that really most of America knows about this. So let's get rid of the handshake line permanently in sports. Yeah. That's yeah. what we do. Uh, cool. Let's eliminate well, it. Good. That's, Great I mean, idea. That's why go, look, go aggregate some more videos from other people who actually put up the content. Well, I mean, look, we, we've, uh, for 20 years now, had to wait in long airport lines and take our shoes off because of, of one thing. 
Uh, from Jay Spears. Slightly really different than Juwan Howard. But even so, but like, <laughs> yeah. then it, it applies to, like, one thing happens and we change everything as opposed to investigating the root cause of all of it. Yeah. We just make big rules. Yeah, and, yeah. It, because of the, uh, the I, I believe I'm right here, because of the controversy about the national anthem, then you started even hearing, well, why do the players have to be out in the field or the court, or why do we do the national anthem? I, I, and, and well, in college, they never are. They are. No, they're they not. They never are. And so, from Jay Spears... Uh, Let's see. Never have um, been, really, or haven't for a long time. It, this isn't the first time this has happened with Juwan Howard. He also tried to start a fight with Maryland's head coach, was it uh, Turgeon, and even said the quote, I'm going to kill your ass. Uh, and, and then, and that's fine. He said it, so then you have that. Um, that was during the Big Ten tournament last year. From Jace as well on this, he goes, uh, if one of you guys punch a guest on your show, would you be fired or kicked out? Well, I'm, I would be killed because I couldn't fight back if I did. And I'm going to say this as well. I want to say this now. I have a terrible temper. Craig knows that. Paul, you know it. I've had times when I have humiliated myself. So I, I'm not going to act like I'm some holier-than-thou guy when it comes to that. I have a bad temper. I have lost my composure more than one time. I've discussed it on the show. I, I get that. But I want to say that up front. I'm not trying to be some, oh, my God, I can't believe this happened. Because I've, I've been in some of those things. Not this. Nothing like this before. Um, Paula, maybe Howard should be suspended, sent anger management training. Uh, Lee Buttercup, do we really need the post-game handshake anymore at this point? Leads to problems. Lee, I'm sorry. I mean, sorry. but, like, how often does that happen? How many, like, there's hundreds of games that have been played this year with absolutely no incident. So, like, one thing happens in this game, and let's get rid of the post-game handshake line. Like, I just don't understand that logic. Like, where are all the other incidents that we're... I don't know, like the, the, the Texas Tech and Texas women's coaches got into a little bit of a fluffle. Let's get rid of the post-game handshake. Yeah. Like, man, we are so gosh damn soft, man. Like, it's it's kind of crazy to me of just something goes wrong, let's cancel it or let's get rid of it and let's not do it. And like, y'all want to get rid of the post-game handshake line? Like, it's not that big of a deal to me. It's not going to affect my enjoyment of the game watching on TV because they don't even hardly show it. But it's just a sportsmanship thing. Like, let's just toss a... a key thing of sportsmanship and whether you think there's any value to it or not i mean it's it's symbolic if anything of just that sportsmanship factor of yeah these teams may not like each other but they can go wage war on the court and at the end of the day say good game and go their separate ways they might be like good game f you on their way out yeah but you know that's competition like if they got rid of it i wouldn't even probably notice it but i think the idea of like there's a couple things happen let's get rid of this this element of sportsmanship i just think that that's kind of a no, no, no disrespect individually to anybody saying that. I just think that it's kind of a crappy attitude. Well, man, I don't that, know. That's that's carpet bombing a situation that 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 needs a surgical strike. The it funniest, just, yeah, I agree. The funniest tweet out of all day yesterday after it all went down is Michigan Fab Five still has problems with timeouts. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they there do. you go. Yeah, uh, I mean, but timeout was a big that was, trigger. Yeah, to that was, I started yeah. laughing, but, but you, I needed to laugh. But you know, you, an argument could be made uh, psychologically that the post game handshake quite often helps people calm down on their way back to the locker room. You know, or at least kind of get in a space of like, okay, the game's over. Yeah, and, you know, and, like, you know, and there's some where coaches don't shake hands or they barely agree or they acknowledge, and of course people get that on camera and all that, or did so-and-so shake hands. It's only trying to, to create problems. Um, from Jace, uh, society today, Jace coming with some good stuff. Society today is softer than a soft taco. Uh, BR James, I agree, Craig. Uh, Paula said spot on, Craig. And I, I've seen that anger management thing, and, and I don't know how much that, that works. That pro, um, I think it works for some people, but I think you got to actually try it. You know, it's like anything else. If you go into it and you don't really want to do it, then it's pointless. But I, I do. I don't think it would do any harm for Juwan Howard to maybe have a sit down or two. I'm not saying the guy's got to go straight into like, you know, long term therapy or anything. But clearly, when you've had more than one incident in a short amount of time, really in a year's time. Like, yeah, dude, like something needs to be checked in the mirror. And if he's not going to be able to do it himself, then maybe somebody in Michigan goes like, hey, let's have you talk, sit and talk to somebody. Maybe. You think he might feel like he's over that? He's too big for that? Do you feel like that's part like, of the problem? Do you think like he could be wrong? No, yeah. no I don't I mean, know. I don't clearly. He, yesterday in his post game, and I listened to both post games. I listened to both of them so I could be educated to make sure I didn't misspeak. He did not one time ever apologize for the situation. Not one that he was even sad it happened. It was constantly about, like, put your hands on me, or I felt threatened. I mean, Greg Garb's like 5'8", 
right? Okay, Greg Garb could have done something better. Once he saw Jawan, Jawan was in that mood, maybe not try to stop him and explain yourself, and you could have walked away too. He could have done that. But Jawan Howard, not one time in his post game, not a single time, did he say it was a bad look for college basketball, it's a terrible look for Michigan and the Big Ten Conference and for my program, and I'm sorry. That doesn't mean you are admitting you were wrong, but you could have, I think, in my opinion, yeah, but you could have you could have at least said something like unless you part, just legally felt like you couldn't say anything. Part of the first thing that they're gonna uh, learn in anger management is that uh, you have to admit when you're wrong, and and you'll be less angry when you can figure out that you are. Uh, and you know, he he went from zero to sixty really fast, and so to me, yeah, I mean, it, nobody's look. Nobody should have any kind of stigma on mental health training anymore because that's what anger management is. So, yeah, if you feel like, you know, you've been wrong, you don't have an anger problem. Well, you know, when you don't think you have an anger problem is precisely when you do, you know, and I don't know. I don't think I have an anger problem and I don't. Feel but like I mean, I like do, when people yeah, tell you, but like, yeah, yeah no, but, I do. And, and I, I not you. It's like anything else. When you got to go see someone. To help yourself, you have to be the one that wants to go see that person. Now, look, I mean, we're all focusing on Juwan Howard. Greg Guard's not completely innocent no. in this. No, the players said, yeah. aren't completely innocent in this, at least some of them that took part. Like, it's not the end of the world. College basketball will move on tonight, and it'll be perfectly fine, and there probably won't be any fights, and maybe there will be. I don't know. But, yeah, it's just an ugly situation. Um, you know, I know Michigan fans can point – fingers at the way like the game ended and, and vice versa was you know fans on, on either side and fans around america watching can all point fingers in, in whatever direction they so choose based on how they view it but yeah Jawan howard's now had a couple of things i mean is he on his way to being bobby knight or are we gonna like kind of cut this off at the head if he is somebody who does have some anger issues that need to be dealt with does greg guard maybe need to tone down who in the he gets in the face of and realize how disrespectful that can be read the room yeah. or read the person you're especially yeah. when you're this little guy who's all you know like it's like the little dog that's barking at your heels almost like you can see where that gets annoying especially in your face and so you know i think everybody it, it, nobody deserves to be fired i don't think anybody needs to get kicked off teams but there are some players and there are a couple coaches that need to sit down and look in the mirror a little bit and realize where they aired and correct it the next time and realize especially if you're the adults in the room you're the example setters so when i see juan howard throwing a, a punch slap and then i see his players get hyped up by that and start swinging as well well that's not a good example that was set now, Armstrong, do you have the video of the Rutgers, Maryland, uh, the Rutgers, Michigan post game? This is not very long, but go look to the left of your screen. I saw this last night because we were to the right of your screen. Back to the right, a young man, there's a guy in a, a gray sweater. That's Viabate, 14, being restrained by teammates uh, in the post game after a game with Rutgers. So, uh, listen, he has to figure it out too. Well, his coach is not setting a great example for him either. But that's say. one Jawan of the actually, I got to say this. I watched the whole thing. Jawan Howard was actually shaking hands with many people on the Rutgers basketball program. I, mean, I don't even know if he knew what was going on. No, but uh, again, when you have a coach that reacts that no, way. No, no, no. You know, it. it's, it's one of the things. Uh, teams take on the, per, the, the personality of their coach. And sometimes <laughs> those things are good. Like, sometimes it's good. Like, like the good part of it is that, you know, when when Michigan is talented and good, nobody's going to go in there and mess with them because they know it's going to be a physical game. It's going to be tough. But part of the problem is you you carry a chip on your shoulder long enough, it becomes pointless. And then you start making up reasons because you can't live without the chip on your shoulder. Yeah, we see that happen. Guys who are super successful and really don't have a lot of weaknesses, and they almost have to create things in their mind to give them that edge because they don't know what to do without that edge. And it, that's what drives them. That's their motivator. So, yeah, you'll. it's like when you hear... Uh, I was like, I yeah, remember uh, the uh, the Warriors uh, TV anchor that after they lost, or no, was that one the Warriors? Was it who was it? Uh, gosh, who was the team? Uh, it was the Chiefs. It was the Chiefs TV anchor. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It was like no one expected us yeah. to be here, and it's like what? Yeah. Nobody expected you to be in the a a AFC Championship game. Everybody expected you. It's like so, Bryce Young when he said, I, I had to kind of fight through things. Yeah, and I know that's not, she's not like in the locker room uh, or whoever posted that. Uh, but at the same time, I guarantee you there's Chiefs players who are like, nobody thinks we're going to, you know, like, and that you have to do that to drive yourself. So, yeah, sometimes it can be a, a little phony. But, I mean, getting back to this, you know, uh, there's a lot of people, like I said, that can look in the mirror. It's not the end of the world. It's not the death of basketball. Nobody needs to lose jobs or anything. Now, Juwan Howard needs to be careful because I think now you've set a pattern to where if you are in another incident anytime relatively soon, 
then that, I mean, truly raises eyebrows no matter how it occurs because then it's all of a sudden becoming this pattern of you getting involved in situations. So he's got to be careful of that. And he's also got to be careful of them just being a good basketball team because ultimately this ain't the UFC. This is college basketball, and that's what's going to matter is is win. So if you're losing and then this happens as well, well, that's a double whammy, and, and that adds up yeah. very quickly. Yeah. It's not like getting in a fight at the weigh-in. They kind of want you to get in a fight at the weigh-in. Yeah, they're, because they're, they're it, selling yeah. tickets. Yeah. They're selling pay-per-view. All right, I do think that I do believe that Juwan Howard's previous situation with Maryland with Coach Turgeon should be taken into consideration. Uh, I I do believe that Diabate, if he threw and landed punches, would appear as if he might have done so. I look like um, he did. Yeah. If he did, he should be suspended. And if anyone else did, there was also a coach that just disappeared in front of the Michigan bench. That was a Wisconsin either coach or someone. Not sure what happened there. Guess what? They're going to look at all the various videos. Almost. I'm not going to say like a crime scene because that sounds like there might be bodies, but they're they're going to look at everything. And if there are whoever gets suspended, they earned it. And if they don't suspend someone, then why why how do you earn, learn from this? A fine is probably got. What does that do? And really, what does that do? That would hurt you. That would hurt me. That would hurt Craig. It would hurt all of us here. If it's a five, ten, twenty thousand dollar fine, it's not going to hurt the University of Michigan or Wisconsin. They're making millions. It's not going to hurt Jawan Howard. No. Either. So no. we're not here to be the judge and the jury. That's why we appreciate a lot of your feedback, uh, Scotty B. Maybe society is softer than a giant pack of stuffed marshmallows, jumbo size. Um, there's a couple of more. Uh, one said, I, "I actually believe he should be fired." This is from Joey. Uh, and again, you have your right and opinion to feel that way. You aren't the only one that feels that way. Um, also, this is from Mike. In fact, Mike brought up the, the Wisconsin. Did anyone notice the coach that got body slammed and then stomped on by a Michigan player? I never saw that. I, I just saw that. there was a little scrum to the back left of where Jawan Howard was. Not sure who yeah. got caught up in that or not. Yeah, I went back and watched it a few times, and I noticed like guard kind of initiates it all. You know, gets he's got his kind of like in his chest area, partly because he's so short. <laughs> it's where he had to point, but and then Howard reacts how he reacts, but. Yeah, and looking around at like the different parts of the the angles, there is whatever that thing is in the background, whatever that that dust up was in the background. You can't really, at least the angles I saw, you couldn't really tell. But there was clearly something going on. So maybe that's what you're referring to. But I didn't actually yep. see what was going on. I just, I just saw could, that that scrum. I just couldn't tell who anyone ever got up, and it was there people getting kicked or whatever. Uh, which kind of you see that a lot now. And you, one person, then there's five people in it, you know. But so that's that. It, it's. Again, your feedback throughout the show, even when we go to different guests, we're going to have an NFL.